Hello, Craig Howard here. Happy to be with you again today. Did you know that cats cannot taste sweet? They can't. They can taste salty, savory, um, they can taste bitter, uh, they can taste all the other tastes, but they can't taste sweet. It's no wonder cats are grumpy a lot of the time. <laughs> Maybe cats, cats need to find a dog friend. Uh, dogs can taste sweet and love sweets, but uh, cats can't. Maybe it, maybe they just need to hang out with dogs a little bit more. Maybe maybe when dogs are barking at cats, they're trying to explain to them what sweet tastes like. I don't know. But, you know, I, I've met people that are sort of like that. They can't seem to taste the sweet in their life. They can't seem to recognize the sweet things or the good things or the blessed things in their life. Um, they just kind of go around seeing all the bitter things and all the grumpy things, all the sad things, all the bad things, and I realize they're there. I can taste those things too. Everybody can. But every once in a while, it's good to taste the sweet things in life. The Bible says, and this was written by um, Solomon, who wrote the book of Ecclesiastes, and it's a powerful statement. It says, <clears throat> says, there is nothing better for a person than that he should eat and drink and find enjoyment in his toil. Now that's a little bit of a trick there, but he's not just saying that he should party, but, he, but that he should find enjoyment in all that he says, because he goes on to say, this also I saw is from the hand of God. So he said, you know, a lot of the things that we take for granted or a lot of things that we ignore, he said, we just need to recognize that these are also from the hand of God and that we need to see all of the things in life, the, the, you know, as being from the hand of God. The sweet, the sour, the savory, everything is from the hand of God. So today, I wonder, uh, I want to ask you the question, are you tasting the savory things as well as the sweet things in life? Are you, are you tasting all of the good and the bad and everything, and are you seeing that it all has its place and that it all has a place in God's plan. You say, well, you know, Pastor Craig, are you talking about uh, the, the, you know, what about the bad stuff that happens? Well, I'm not saying that God is happy about the bad stuff. I read a great quote from John, Johnny Erickson Tata where she says, God sometimes allows the things that he doesn't like to accomplish the things that he loves. And that's a powerful statement. <clears throat> We have to accept that there's going to be salty and bitter things in our life. But we also have to acknowledge that they're not the only things in our life. And we have to be able to see the sweet things, feel the sweet things, taste the sweet things that God has brought into our life as a blessing. They all are from the hand of God. And we have to be able to look at it. And if you're, if you're sort of taste blind to the sweet things that are happening in your life, then maybe you need to get a dog. Maybe you need to get somebody around you to help. Uh, point out the sweet things and the good things that are happening in your life so you can enjoy those as well. Well, that's my thought for today. It's sort of a short, sort of a short devotional today, but I want to challenge you today. Uh, look around and see the blessings in your life. Look around and see the sweet things in your life and be a dog to somebody. Help somebody see and taste and experience the sweet things that are going on in their lives as well. I realize bad things happen. They happen in all of our lives. And it's not something we look forward to, and it's not something I'm trying to ignore. And I'm not just saying, you know, everything is pie in the sky and everything is wonderful. That's not the case. I know that. But I recognize, too, that we need to see it all. Not just, you know, we, we can't be blind. We can't be blinded by the bad things in our life to the good things that are also in our life. Well, my time is gone. Well, my hair is really a mess today, isn't it? Oh, well. You just got to put up with me. This is all I got to work with, so you got to put up with it. You have a great day today. I just will pray that God has a wonderful blessing in store for you today and that you'll be able to taste it. God bless you. Bye.